Hi guys, Steve Blankert here. Hey, I've made a number of posts about uh, loading 32 extra long rim fire, 32 rim fires, and using healed bullets. And uh, so I want to talk a little bit about some of the bullets that are available and uh, what I do to make some of my own homemade ones. Uh, first off, Bernie Rawls at uh, Old West Molds makes some wonderful uh, healed bullet molds. So, uh, you know, they're, they're a great resource. They work really well. He's got a couple different styles. Uh, Jack Harrison sells bullets, uh, healed bullets on Gun Broker as well as uh, cases and he uses the Ideal 299-153 mold uh, and makes great bullets. I bought a lot of them from him and they work great. Uh, he also has a new bullet out. Uh, it's a little bit longer. Uh, it has a, another driving band and it's about 93 grains and I just got some of those and they're really nice too. Uh, so they work well. Uh, but the other thing I want to talk about and just I, I've mentioned is making my own healed bullets from commonly available typical 3220 type bullets. So what I'm going to show you here, I'm at my lathe and I realize not everyone has a lathe. So, uh, yeah, but I just want to show you how I do this. And I think with a little ingenuity, you could do it on a drill press too. So, uh, but for example, uh, I've got some very common Lyman 311008 bullets. These are 115 grain bullets for a 3220. Uh, I cast these, but you can buy them in bulk also. Uh, I also have a box full of these Hornady, I think they're 90 grain semi wad cutters, and they're just kind of a knurled bullet. They're really cheap, uh, but you know they they can be used also. So I was going to show you how I uh, cut these in the lathe. So, but here's a couple of examples. Let's see if we can get in where you can see these. On the left here is a. 311008 bullet, the Lyman bullet that I've cut a heel on. In the middle is one of these Hornady neural bullets that I cut the heel on. And I cut that heel about a hundred thousandths deep. And then on the right is one of Jack Harrison's new 93 grain heel bullets. So uh, they're really nice. They're just a little longer. But you notice the the uh, contact service, the driving band service is about the same on, on Jack's bullet as it is on this Hornady bullet after I cut the heel and on the Lyman 311008 bullet. So uh, I'm going to set the camera up here above my lathe so you can see what I'm doing. Hopefully I can get this set up right. So you can see here. Okay, so I've got the lathe set up. So I'm going to put a start with a Lyman 311008 bullet and I've got this on a collet set up here this is a 5 16 collet and I don't tighten it real tight it doesn't take a lot I just want to hold the bullet snug without compressing and squeezing the driving bands so I'm just going to cut it cut the, uh, the rear band off just drive, cut it up to the first grease groove just like that Okay, so I've got that one cut now. So with a heel, I'll take a case here and hopefully that will slide right in and you can see how it seats right into the case very nicely. So pretty simple, simple operation. Uh, I'm gonna do the same thing now with one of the neural bullets. Now on these bullets, because I don't have a, a grease groove to, to show me an end point, what I've done is I've put some black Sharpie on it and then I've already measured about a hundred thousand and just put a mark there so I know how far to cut. So I'm going to put this in the lathe. Snug it up. Just like that. All right, so now you can see the heel is cut. Get my case here, slip it right into the case, and it's ready to use. So, so this is a, a good, I think it's a good alternative. And I realize not everyone has a has a lathe, um, but if you do, you have access one, or you can rig up a, something with your drill press and do that. It's a very simple, easy way to make some heel bullets, and you can experiment with different weights and different sizes. Uh, the one that the most commonly available bullets that uh, Jack Harrison sells on uh, Gunbroker are 87 grains, 
and then he's got this new one that's a little bigger that's 93 grains and those are, are really good. I mean I've been playing with the 32 extra long rim fire and the center fire equivalent is 32 ballard extra long and those typically had uh, 105 to 115 grain bullets so uh, I've been experimenting with some of these other larger ones just to see how my uh, my rifle does. I'm shooting these in a number two rolling block that is originally 32 extra long rim fire and I made some of my own homemade reloadable rim fire cases and then I've also got a center fire block because uh, I have a 3220 number two also so I can swap that center fire block in and then make the 32 Ballard extra long cases from 2520 single shot brass or from 327 Federal Magnum brass. So that's kind of what I've been loading up. So I'm playing with these larger bullets. So anyway, that's my little tutorial. Um, hope you find it interesting and uh, maybe give you some ideas for uh, getting out that, that old uh, rimfire rifle or, uh, and, and play with it a little bit. Thanks for watching.